Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to run key cloak behind IIS as a reverse proxy. So in this setup, IIS is acting like a reverse proxy sitting between the clients and the key cloak server. We generally use reverse proxy to delegate common tasks like static content, SSL termination, security hardening of the server headers and a lot more. So most of the people want to host key cloak behind the reverse proxy like Apache or IIS and in this video we're going to cover how to set up key cloak to run behind a IIS reverse proxy. By the way, the whole content of this video is present in this blog post. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. If you don't know what is key cloak, how to install key cloak or how to manage users and applications in key cloak for OAuth 2.0 STS server implementation. I have already made a playlist of videos on that and I will leave the link of this playlist in the description of this video. So please be sure to check it out. So let's talk about setting up IIS. So if you want to set up IIS on a Windows server, just go to the server manager and enable the IIS role. And if you are on a Windows desktop, you can just go to the features to turn Windows features on or off. And here search for internet information services and make sure that you have worldwide web services enabled and you have web management tools enabled. And under the web management tools, you have the IIS management console enabled. And if everything is enabled as per this requirement, just click OK and the requirement would be applied to the operating system. Now IIS is ready. And the next thing we have to do is install two modules, which is application request routing ARR and URL rewrite modules. So you can download these modules at these two URLs. For example, this is for application request routing and this is for URL reroute. So you can download application request routing here. And if you slide down, you can see the x64 installer just click it download it and install it and the same way for url rewrite just go down you'll get to see the x64 installer click on that download the file and install it now you have the two required modules automatic request routing and url rewrite enabled in your IIS. now there is one more important setting you have to enable proxy in the application request routing module let's try to do that now since we have set up IIS and we have already set up the required modules Let's try to click the windows button and search for IIS and this is IIS and here in the left pane you can navigate the servers, application pools and websites. So this is my main server. You can expand this. You can see the websites. You can expand this. You can see all the websites under our site section. Now click on the main server section and here you can find the application request routing logo. Click on this and you'll be taken to this application request routing cache and here in the right side search for server proxy settings click on that and here you should just enable this proxy setting if it is disabled like this click on enable and apply and once again click on your server in the left side now you have enabled the proxy in the application request routing module all right we've got our IIS setup done but before creating the reverse proxy in IIS let's try to configure key cloak and run it so that it can accept the connections from a reverse proxy so to make key cloak accept reverse proxy, you have to do these configurations in the conf slash keycloak.conf file. So this is my key cloak installation folder and I can find the configuration in the conf keycloak.conf file. Let's try to open it with any editor instead of notepad. I'm opening with VS code because I will get some syntax highlighting. And here in the keycloak.conf file, just ensure these settings. The first thing is proxy headers x forwarded because we will send some proxy related information in the x forwarded headers through IIS. So I am telling Keycloak that expect some reverse proxy related information in the x forwarded headers. And we are telling HTTP enabled equal to true and HTTP port equal to 8085. This means we are telling Keycloak to run on HTTP and to listen for connections on the 8085 port. And here we are telling hostname strict equal to false. This is optional. You can write hostname equal to localhost or any IP address, but if you write hostname strict equal to false, it will have multiple hostnames to listen for. That means it can listen on localhost, it can listen on the internal IP, etc. etc. So if you want to be strict about what the hostname Keycloak listens on, you can do something like hostname equal to localhost. But for this example, I've kept hostname strict equal to false, and that's it. These four lines are enough to make your Keycloak accept requests from a reverse proxy. Since we have configured Keycloak, let's try to run it. So I'm in the Keycloak installation folder. Let's try to open a command line here. I'm going to open it with terminal. And here I'm going to say bin kc.bat start and click enter. 
now keycloak is running since we have mentioned the http port as 8085 you can see the url here http 0.0.0.8085 http 0.0.0.0 means it will listen on all the ip addresses bound to this host since keycloak is running let's try to open it in a new tab so i'm opening http localhost 8085 let's go to there and here my keycloak is successfully opening i've already configured keycloak so i can even log in into this so my keycloak is running as expected now our task is to run this keycloak behind the reverse proxy so we will reach the keycloak from ias instead of this url let's try to set up ias url rewrite rule for the reverse proxy functionality so for that go to ias and here in the site section you can go ahead and right click and add a website and it will ask for a folder and you can give a type i recommend https and check all the best practices and here in the certificate select the required certificate since i don't have any production ready certificate i will select a development certificate and give a physical path now give that a site name you can say something like key cloak and that's pretty much it you have set up a simple site you have given an empty folder and you have bound the site to a port 443 on https and you can just click ok now a simple website is set up so if you open the website on https localhost 443 you will get an error because there is no page or there is no redirect rule so first you need to set the redirect rule to point to keycloak so click on the website you just created and double click the url rewrite and here before writing a rewrite rule you have to see the right side menu bar click on view server variables and here add some allowed server variables which are required by keycloak so click on actions add and add all required server variables one by one so i have added the four required server variables http x forwarded for host port proto these are the allowed server variables now get back to the rules and since we have our required server variables ready let's try to create a new rule so here in the url rewrite section right click here and add a rule select the blank rule and now you have to select the reverse proxy rule give the rule a name and select the pattern the pattern would be matching all the urls so you have to write dot star in brackets and go to the server variables and now add all the server variables which you have just allowed x forwarded proto would be https x forwarded port would be 443 or else you can even give the dynamic value i can double click this and here instead of value 443 you can say server port this is a is variable which will be dependent on the website's port suppose if your server is running on port 8080 or 8085 this would be that value so this is a dynamic value so that you don't need to manually change the port every time you change the main reverse proxy's port and let's try to add another server variable x forwarded host the host name resolved for the original client request would be sent in the server variable and now we set http x forwarded for as a remote address so we have set the four server variables here in the rewrite rule and now the main part which is the rewrite url so i'm going to write the rewrite url as http 127.0.0.1 colon 8085 slash r1 so basically what we are doing is we are taking the original request url part strip the host name protocol everything and give that path to this url and that's it we have given a name to a rule we have set a pattern for matching the url and we have set the server variables and we have written the actual rewrite rule and that's it click apply and back to rules now you have a rule called key clock which you have set up just now for this key clock proxy setting now everything should work if you click on browse 443 you are opening key clock from https localhost in fact let's try to write the url manually in the address bar so our reverse proxy is listening on 443 port through https right so i'm writing https localhost 443 is not required if you are using HTTP, it's a default port. So click on enter and that's it. Keycloak is opening through the reverse proxy, not the 8085 port. So I can even log in. I enter the credentials, click on sign in, and now you have successfully signed into Keycloak. So that's pretty much it. This is how you can use IS as a reverse proxy for Keycloak. We have successfully set up the URL rewrite rule in the user interface of IIS, right? But you can even do that in the web config text file. In the folder where you have created your site, in my case it's c inetpub ww root create a file called web.config and open it with any text editor i'm opening it with vs code you can use notepad also and here 
instead of writing the rewrite rule in the user interface you can even define the rewrite rule in xml something like this so instead of going to ui and creating the rule manually just copy paste this xml and you'll be good to go the xml is in the blog post so check it out now let's get to a very important part which is debugging the reverse proxy headers and host name you know if you get everything right you don't need this section but if you want to know what are the header names sent by the reverse proxy or if there is some issue to implement the reverse proxy this is really important we will open a url called hostname debug and it will show you all the headers reverse proxy stuff let's try to do it now while starting key cloak add an additional flag called dash dash hostname debug equal to true now let's try to do that let's try to stop our key cloak for the previous command just add hostname debug equal to true now let's try to start key cloak with this flag let's try to wait until it started so this is how you can open the hostname debug page go to the key cloaks url which is https local host and open realms master hostname debug click enter now you can see the hostname debug page where you can see how the request came to key cloak since the request is passing through a reverse proxy it is showing what are the reverse proxy headers set by ias so the client has requested this host this port and this protocol and you can see the various settings in your key cloak like the proxy headers mode is x forwarded http is enabled the relay to path is slash and a lot of important hostname debugging options where you can see whether your functionality is as desired or not in fact let's try to see the hostname debug page of the key cloak without reverse proxy since the key cloak is running on localhost 8085 without reverse proxy so let's go to http localhost 8085 realms master hostname debug if you click enter you can see the http port is 8085 the host is localhost 8085 and all other settings you don't see http x forwarded for headers information because we are not going through a reverse proxy here but in this page since we are going through IS you can see http x forwarded for headings information and this is how you can easily see whether your request is going through a reverse proxy or not so that's it guys this is how you can debug reverse proxy headers and host names you can see the whole content of this video is present in this blog post so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace